Okay, next step in, uh, in your project here, after you guys have the whole uh, carcass glued together, we call this the whole framework of this thing the carcass, uh, there's a couple of steps we have to put in place here before we can actually get the drawer going in. So, the last process you guys did before gluing this up was cutting these two top drawer guides here. They were biscuit joined into the front rail and to the back rail. These were glued in one, uh, at the same time you guys glued up the carcass. Now, they need to be, we need to make a little spacer underneath here. Um, the dimensions I don't think are actually in your, uh, in your books or on your cut list. Uh, but all we're doing is we're creating we're creating, a, I don't know if you can see that on the video there, there's a spacer underneath each top drawer guide. Um, they are about three quarters of an inch wide and the thickness of them is whatever it is on yours that it's going to take to get flush with the bottom of the front rail. Okay, and they're glued right up against the leg and all these two little spacers do is to provide like a rubbing surface for where the drawer is actually going to ride and it's going to prevent the drawer from falling down as it gets pulled out, right? So it's just two little spacers, you can just make them their custom thickness to whatever yours is going to require and they're glued in um, just underneath the top drawer guides there, okay? So that's the first step. Second thing you need to do uh, is to prepare the two sides of your drawer stock, okay? Now in theory, these are going to be cut to final size at exactly four inches wide. Um, double check this. Again, at this step of the project, you guys are starting to make things that are custom sized to fit what yours actually ended up being. So you're going to measure exactly what the distance here is, and that's going to be the width of your drawer. Okay. Final length of your drawer is going to be from the back rail, right where the drawer bottoms out right at the, the inside of the back rail, right flush with the front here. Okay, the front face of your project comes all the way out uh, front flush. Okay, once you've got your two sides dressed to final size, uh, then we need to actually make the lower drawer guide. And I've got this one out, this is Trenton's here. Uh, I just want to show you before we install this uh, exactly what it is. This is the lower drawer guide. The drawer actually rides on this surface here. So if you can imagine here this being the drawer and it's gonna be riding on, on this surface here, okay? So these two pieces are glued up. It's just a simple glue joint, um, but the lengths are different, okay? The side piece here um, is important because it makes sure that the drawer doesn't rack, so it doesn't fall off of its track, right? The length of this side piece is uh, should be should fit exactly between your legs. Okay, so inside here, and actually at this point we can now move this thing sideways because we're going to uh, have it in this position when we go to, to install this. It's going to fit in here just like this. Okay, so if we can come in here and see that real nice. Um, can see how that fits in there. So Trenton's already made this thing to fit. The side part there that keeps the drawer from racking fits nice and tight inside the legs. The drawer bottom that it actually rides on fits between the back panel and the back side of the front rail. Okay. The reason we need to have this done first before we can install this uh, drawer guide is because we're going to use this as a guide for exactly where to position this thing. That, that way we're going to get this drawer guide in here perfectly uh, parallel to, to our top. Okay, so to do that we're going to use glue and we're going to use a brad nailer. You guys haven't used this before. This is an 18 gauge brad nailer. Um, we're going to be using uh, two, inch, 2 inch brad nails for it. Okay, they're in my office if you need to get them. To load this thing, this is just going to be a real quick little lesson on how to use a brad nailer. This little button here, just push it down, pull the slide back. There's a tiny little head on these things. Head goes up, obviously. Goes in here like so, and, and click. There it is. Okay, real simple on how to load this thing. 
the air pressure we're going to use, this is going to be set uh, at 100 PSI. And it's, uh, I think I pretty much leave it set at that pressure for pretty much everything we do in here. So um, you got to pull this little collar back here on the air hose. And there we go. Okay. So uh, air hose goes on. Now this thing is hot. It's ready to fire. There's also a safety on the front here as well. This, that little button on the front has to be pushed down before the trigger will be allowed to activate, okay? Um, yeah, people have done a lot of crazy things with these things. Um, consider it a gun, like it's called a nail gun or a brad nailer. It's a, it's a gun by any means, just like any other thing. So um, control the tip, control where you aim this thing, don't goof around and Pretend like you're going to shoot it at your friend because uh, people have been killed by these things. Like it, it's it's really nothing to, to fool around with. All right, so we're going to be very careful uh, when we use this thing. All right. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, actually install this thing. We're going to use safety glasses for sure. And here we go. So I'm going to prepare this drawer guide just by putting a little bit of glue here. We don't need a ton of glue, right? You guys know by now that um, typically less is, less is more when, when it comes to glue. So that's gonna go in here and I want the bottom part of the drawer guide right flush with the top of the front rail. You guys see where I am here? Okay, the top part of the, the drawer guide uh, is right flush with the top of the rail. Now I can put in the drawer side, and we're going to just make sure that um, if there's any slight gap, and that's fine if there is, but we just want that gap to be parallel. So I think I'm pretty happy with where that's sitting in here. Does this kind of make sense now that you can see it being put together, uh, why it's important we have this piece, the side piece, kind of prepared ahead of time? Makes sense, right? So now we're going to actually go ahead and, uh, and pin this thing in here. We've got a little bit of glue on that, and I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to put two nails. So I'm going to push down one shot, two shots, and in the back here as well, two nails. Okay, so I'm pushing down, and I'm just doing one little quick fire on the trigger just like that. You notice I didn't have my fingers anywhere near here as well. Sometimes these things will actually go in, hit a knot or something and curl around and I've had them come straight right back up. So you don't want to have your fingers, even in the side here, anywhere near where this nail could, could come out. Um, you're firing obviously down into the project, your fingers aren't anywhere near that. Okay, so that's done. Now we can take our drawer side out and we've got our lower drawer guide perfectly positioned in here now so that we have a parallel track for our drawer to, to ride in. Okay, Trenton's gonna continue that and do the other side, and that's it.